Hi everybody, happy Pi Day. Today is March 14th, 3.14, and so I wanted to share a little video with you today. Uh, my work had a contest today to see who could memorize the most digits of Pi. And so um, I started memorizing last night. I spent about half an hour last night, half an hour today, and I was able to memorize up to 53 digits. That was really surprising to myself. So I thought I would share with you guys how I went about doing that. And then at the end, I'll tell you how I did in the contest. So I looked up online what the first 53 digits of pi were uh, so that I could try to memorize them. So I've written them here. I decided to try to memorize them in series of three. And so off to the side here, you can see uh, the first two digits of pi, and then on down 5, 8, 11, 14, all the way down to 53. And so I want to kind of show you guys my method of how I did it to help inspire you. You may think that you can't memorize things, but you really can. <clears throat> There's a method of memorization that is called mnemonics, and that is where you associate things that really don't have a value of themselves with something that is familiar with you. And so the first thing... Uh, for example, that I would do here is I would I would say 3 plus 1 equals 4. That's how I remember 3.14, okay? And then the next, no the next number is 15, so it's 14, 15. You can say I got 13, 14, 15. And so we've got our 159. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw a line here. So the way I memorize this is I remember that this went 1, 2, 3, and I remembered that this, 59 plus 6, equals six, uh, 59 plus 6 equals 65. So I'll put a 6 here. And then if I have 65 minus 7, I get 58. So I remember this, 67. And so to remember that, I remember a 67 Chevy. I have some friends back in my hometown that drive 67 Chevys. <coughs> Bel Airs, they're beautiful. And a friend, I think, who had a 67 Chevy truck. So I can think of either of those. Now I've got my 3 plus 1 equals 4. Now I've got my 1, 2, 3. And I have 159 plus 6. 265 plus 7 minus 7 equals 358. So I've got my first 4. So I'm up to 11 digits. So now for this next part. I think of the number 9 going down to 7 and back up to 9. So that makes me think of a seagull because it comes down and back up. And guess what's below him? Another seagull. Oh, look at these cute seagulls. There they are. So I just remember 979 and 323. Three. And these are both odd numbers, so that helps me remember them. So I've got my 67 Chevy. I've got my two seagulls. Down here, I've got another two sets of numbers. <clears throat> I've got 8, 4, 6. So it's almost like counting down by sets of two. And then I imagine here a little invisible question mark. If you were to guess what that next one would be, what would you guess? It's probably a 2. 8, 4, 6, 2. So that I have 2, 4, 6, 8. And if you do that, you are right, because now the next number is 264 backwards. So you go 846 and then 264. There we go. And so, so to do that, I remember, I remember these four circles like this. And I know that's 846 and 264. So for this next one, here I'm going to think of the number <clears throat> 3. So here I have a 3, a 3, and then I have a 3 this way, and I have a 3 that way. So I have four 3s. But I'm going to cut those 3s in half twice. Make sure they're really cut. All right. So I've got my 3, 3, 8. And then if I take that 11 and take it off, now I've got 3, 27. So 38 minus 11 equals 327. So I have to remember the 11 here. So I'm going to put that over here. My next two numbers, I decided to think of this like 
sleep. So do you know what time I go to bed every night? I go to bed at 9.50. Do you know what time I wake up? I wake up at 2.88. I know that's not a real number, but that's what time I wake up. So I think of sleep. What time do I go to bed? 9.50. What time do I get up? 2.88. So my next two, this is where I'm going to think of my kids. So my, my first daughter, her birthday happens to be 4.19, so that works out great. So 419, I'm not going to forget my first child's birthday. And then I have three more children. So I, if I add three here, I have a seven. And if I take three off here, I have 16. So my three kids are down here. I have my oldest and then my three youngest. So I just remember my kids. My next two, I'm going to remember, I am almost to a thousand. These numbers are almost to a thousand. So... I've got a 939, and then I take off that 2 over here, and I've got a 937. So I've got, I'm almost to a 1,000, which is a lot. And then down here for my last two sets, I remember, oh, I'm almost to 50 digits. So I've got my 5 and my 0 here. I'm to 50 digits. And then my address, where my house number, it is 583. So I'm going to take 1 off of that and put 582. And I'm going to put the one up there. And so that's this is how I remember my house. Okay? So I, take, I have the 50. Take one off. Put it up there. So now, really, to memorize 53 digits, all I really have to do is remember 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 stories. So if you can remember these stories in a row, then you'll never forget them. <clears throat> So let's say I'm driving along in my 67 Chevy, and all of a sudden, I see seagulls. They're coming right down. Do you know what those seagulls do? They lay eggs right in the back of my 67 Chevy truck. Or we could say they drop eggs on my windshield. That's even better, okay? And then, how do you clean eggs off your windshield? Windshield wipers. Well, there they are. There's the windshield wipers, okay? Now, going through all that and cleaning them all the way off, that made me really tired. Okay, so now I'm sleepy, and I want to go to sleep, but my kids are always there. They're, they're wonderful kids, but they're always there. So, so then I have my kids, but I think my kids are worth a thousand, and I love them even more than my house. Okay, so we're going to remember, I've got my 67 Chevy, I see some seagulls, and what do they do? Drop eggs on my windshield, wipe them off. Now I'm really tired. I'm going to go sleep because I love my kids a thousand, and I love them even more than my house. So if I can remember these things, these stories, and what they represent, <clears throat> and if you were to think through these stories, uh, it took me about an hour to practice them, recite them, make up the stories, then you've got all your stories, and you've got your connections between them all. And then, if you practice this uh, a couple times a day, wait a few hours, practice again. And then the next day, you do it again, wait a few hours. There's a good chance you could remember half of these more than a year later. So, that is something very exciting about memorization. Um, I also wanted to show you, I had the question of, what is the record for how many digits people have memorized of pi? So I went to the pi world ranking list here on Google. Here's this guy, Suresh Kumar Sharma from India. 70,000 digits. He did that a year and a half ago. It took him 17 hours. Can you imagine 17 hours straight? He probably had a few bathroom breaks, but that's about it. That is crazy. And he was only 21 years old. <clears throat> um, here he is, memorizing. This is, this is the person who has second place. Um, and then I found an article here that talks about it. And <clears throat> Suresh is a 21-year-old, um, formal vegetable vendor current record holder by 30 numbers. He beat the old record holder by 30. 
that means you don't quit. And the official Guinness World Record holder from that organization uh, is the 70,000. But there is a 69-year-old Japanese man who says he can do it to 111,000 digits. Isn't that crazy? Um, the first person to calculate pi, 1650 BC. Can you believe that? 4,000 years ago. Uh, a man named Amez uh, calculated it to be 3.16. He was only 1% off. Can you believe that? The reason that pi is so valuable is because it's used to calculate the distance around a circle or the area of a circle or a sphere. And so, as you know, in our universe, the planets are round. And so lots of things in the universe are uh, spheres. And so pi is an eternal principle. And pi is not going away. You need it. So that is... A little lesson on pi today and an encouragement that you too can memorize lots of digits of pi and uh, I did want to show you here that the world record holder uh, Sharish how did he do it he associated every number with an image even the record holder <clears throat> used mnemonics uh, to do his memorization so this is a very good method. It may sound silly to make up silly stories, silly stories, or how you do it. He probably did it while he was selling vegetables for 10 years. So you too can use silly stories and images, and that's how you memorize things that are important. So thanks for watching. Let me know how many digits of pi you can memorize after trying this method, and put them in the comments, and feel free to share with your friends. Happy Pi Day. P.S. I took second place in the contest. Why? Because I gave up at 53. I thought that was good enough. And uh, my friend Jared memorized 79 digits. So, kids, don't give up. Don't settle. Go for 100. Go for 200. Just keep going.